हेलो गाइस वी आर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ शिवाजी राव एस जोनले कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मसी आसनगाव वी हैव डन अ प्रोजेक्ट ऑन अर्जुमोन मैक्सिकाना लीन हर्बल एंटीफंगल क्रीम व्हिच इज एन एंटीफंगल क्रीम व्हिच एक्ट्स ऑन फंगाई टू स्टॉप देयर ग्रोथ और किल द फंगाई सो बिफोर द फॉर्मूलेशन ऑफ द क्रीम वी नीड टू नो व्हाट इज अ फंगाई सो फंगाई the word fungus is derived from the latin word for mushroom fungi are unicellular or multicellular eukaryotic organisms that exist in all environments worldwide from fungi visible to naked eye such as mushroom to microscopic yeast and molds any diseases caused by fungus called mycosis fungal infections are mostly like to affect the skin nails or lungs fungal diseases kill more than 1.5 million people worldwide as you can see in the picture these are the multicellular structure of fungi and here is the unicellular structure of fungi which is also called as yeast so after the structure of the fungi we are going to study the species causes fungal disease fungal infection is a man divided into two main groups first is superficial infection second is systemic infection first superficial infection example microsporum trichophyton and epidermophyton and second one is systemic infection which is asparagus nigger candida albicans cryptococcus blastomyces species we are going to formulate the cream on the dermatophytosis which is also known as a ringworm or tinea caused by a group of organisms capable of invading keratinized tissue such as stratum corneum nail or hair we need to understand what is a topical drug delivery a topical drug delivery system is a way to deliver medication that is applied on to a particular part of the body typically the skin to treat various ailments there are many common forms of topical medication such as lotions gel patches and powders but they are mainly formulated as a cream or ointments advantages of topical drug delivery system are alternative forms of oral administration reduce hospital congestion they can avoid gastrointestinal drug absorption difficulties disadvantages are skin irritation contact dermatitis as well as allergic reaction those drugs having large particular size they do not easily absorb in the skin now we will study the physiology of skin the body largest organ skin protects against germs regulates body temperature and enables touch tactile sensation the skin is multilayer organ composed of many histological layers it is generally described in the three major tissue layers first is epidermis your epidermis is the top layer of the skin that you can see and touch keratin a protein inside a skin cells makes up the skin cells and along with other proteins sticks together to form this layer dermis the dermis is connected to the epidermis at the level of the basement membrane and consists of two layers of connective tissues the papillary and the reticular layer which merge together without clear demarcation composed of strong connective tissue containing collagen and elastic fibers hence it can easily stretch and recoil easily now we are going to study the extraction formulation and evolution of argimon maxicana lean leaves as a herbal antifungal cream which is our main project so objectives are to carry out pre formulation study to provide an overview of fungal infection to formulate antifungal cream as you can see in the picture these are the argimon maxicana lean leaves and plant introduction of argimona mexicana medicinal plants are believed to be an important source of new chemical substances with potential therapeutic effect therefore this plant should be explored for the discovery and development of newer and safer drugs argimona mexicana papervaceae is commonly known as mexicana prickly poppy in english in marathi it is called as ferangi dhotra bilayat and in hindi it is called as satyanashi the plant is self sterile and predominantly self pollinated that prefer light soils 
requires well drained soil and can grow in nutritionally poor soil it cannot grow in the shade various parts of the plants have various medical effects and uses Arjumon Mexicana is reported to have different chemical properties such as anti hepatotoxic activity like antibacterial antifungal anti hiv and wound healing the plant contains alkaloids as berberin protoprine sangurin optimized glucosides terpenoids steroids and tannins mexicana leaves and stem contains the strong antifungal property against the phlegmatized fungi namely mucorindicus aspergillus flavus a niger and p notatum candida albicans a mexicana stems and leaves are equally soluble in water methanol and ethylene arjumon mexicana is an erect spiny annual and biennial herb up to 1 m m tall with a slightly branched tap root its stems is branched and very prickly it exudes a yellow juice when cut these leaves are tied like an alternate without leaf stalks toothed and with active pharmaceutical ingredient of our plant is esclorin esclorin is berberin alkaloid isolated from arjumon mexicana it is a plant metabolite it is an organic heterocyclic compound and berberin alkaloid source of esclorin is opium poppy crodon flavens and certain plants in genus erythrinia and some genus of peperacea mode of action of esclorin is berberin is a co-product of esclorin treatment of fungal cells resulted in dysfunction mitochondria which was evident from its slow growth and non fermentative carbon source and poor labeling with mitochondrial membrane potential sensitive proof this shows the fungicidal activity of esclorin after the mechanism action of esclorin as our plant shows antifungal activity so we need to perform some test on it so for that we need to formulate a herbal extract the herbal extract is prepared by cold macerration process leaves of arjumon mexicana are collected and washed with distilled water after that the leaves are shed dried for 14 to 15 days and then powder the dry material separately 10 mg of powder leaves are soaked in 30 ml of 99 point weight by volume by volume ethanol and kept for maceration for about 3 to 4 days with occasional shaking after a couple of days filter the content of conical flask by using filter paper in the beaker and transfer the content to china dish take the china dish over the boiling water bath to evaporate the sample and dry the ethanolic content completely after drying remove the china dish from the water bath you can see the solvent is completely evaporated and the ethanolic extract is completely dried then add sufficiently quantity of dilute hcl to dissolve this dried residue after dissolving the dried residue filter all the content from the china dish by using the filter paper and collect the liquid extract below into the beaker so now the extract is ready for the alkaloid test and for the preparation of the cream as our plant is showing alkaloid presence so we are going to perform some alkaloid test on it first we did a dragon drop test by adding 1 ml of dragon drop reagent to 2 ml of extract an orange red propriety was formed indicating the presence of alkaloids Hager's test 1 ml of extract were treated with a few drops of Hager's reagents a yellow precipitate was formed indicating the presence of alkaloid Wagner's test add few drops of Wagner's reagents in test tube containing 1 ml of extract the reddish brown precipitate is after performing test for alkaloids we have performed antifungal test for that we take a slice of a bread sprinkle some water on both sides of bread place a bread slice in a closed container wait for 3 to 5 days after 5 days we can observe clusters of tiny plants on a bread slice mold asparagus is a type of fungi that grows on a bread after growing the fungus on a bread add extract on the bread after adding our extract 
of Arjimon Mexicana wait for two days. The results comes after two days shows our extract is able to kill fungus and having antifungal activity. Results of the antifungal test showing the API is able to kill the fungi and the bacteria and the culture media. After the antifungal test, we are going to formulate a cream formulation. So for that, this is our, the ingredient table we have needed to formulate an antifungal cream. So first, we need to prepare a oily face. For that, beeswax, white soft paraffin, liquid paraffin, hard paraffin and borax are accurately weighed and melted in a porcelain dish. By keeping in a hot water, the temperature is maintained between 65 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius of oily face. Preparation of aqueous phase, water is heated and the temperature of the phase was maintained at 65 to 70 degrees Celsius. Development of cream formulation, aqueous phase is slowly added the oily phase at 65 to 70 degrees Celsius and mixed for 10 to 15 minutes. The herbal extract is added into the above part slowly when temperature reached to 40 degrees Celsius, mixed until it get cold. The pH of the temperature is kept between 5 to 7. To matches with the skin pH. After that, we have performed pre-formulation studies. Pre-formulation testing is a first step in the rational development of dosage form of drug substances. Pre-formulation testing can identify or defined as an investigation of physical and chemical properties of drug substances alone and when combined with excipients. Objectives of pre-formulation study are The overall objectives of pre-formulation testing is to generate information useful to the formulator in developing stable and bioavailable dosage which can be mass-produced. The formal pre-formulation study should start at a point after biological screening when the decision is made for further development of the compound in a clinical use. After pre-formulation study, we did evaluation test of Mexican antifungal cold cream. First, we did homogeneity. Homogeneity is the formulated cold cream was tested for homogeneity, visual appearance and by touch. After the feel, emollition, slipperiness and amount of residue left after the application of fixed amount of cream was checked. Type of smear. After the application of the cream on the skin, the type of film smear formed on the skin were checked. Removal. The base of a removal of a cream applied was examined by washing the applied part with the tap water. Then we did a sensitivity test. The cream which was prepared has applied on 1 cm of skin hand and exposed to sunlight for 4 to 5 minutes. The above picture shows the before and after results of the sensitivity test of Mexicana cream. Then we did a pH. The pH of antifungal cream was determined using pH meter, the most accurate common method for measuring pH using the lab device of a probe and meter or simply pH meter. Measurement is made by submerging the probe in a semi-solid until the reading is registered by meter. Results and discussion Physical observation Parameters are color, order, test, states. We did two formulations for that color is white, order is pleasant, texture is smooth and state is semi-solid. Washability observation, both the formulations are easily washable. Sensitivity observation test, for both formulation, no irritant effect, no erythema and no edema observed. pH of the formulations, for formulation 1 is 6 and formulation 2 is at point 2. And all after that, we have concluded that our plant Argimon Mexicana which is from family Papyrvaceae it has antifungal activity against many species ethanolic concentration of Argimon Mexicana extract were prepared to measure the activity against fungi the cream then evaluated under different conditions the evolution tests and physical tests includes pH viscosity homogeneity order spreadability and the antifungal assay and therefore we have concluded that our Formulation 1 is more effective than formulation 2 as the pH of the formulation 1 which is 6 is matches to the body pH. Thank you.